Hi, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry. From engineering to operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. Today we're going to be looking at another one of Kurtz Gazat's videos called What if there was a black hole in your pocket? Probably ain't going to end well for you. <laughs> Let's take a look. If a black hole the size of a coin suddenly appeared near you. Short answer, you'd die. Long answer, it depends. <laughs> yeah. Is it a black hole with the mass of a coin, or is it as wide as a coin? Suppose a US nickel with a mass of about way. 5 grams magically collapsed into a black hole. This black hole would have a radius of 10 to the power of minus 30 meters. By tiny. comparison, a hydrogen atom is about 10 to the power of minus 11 meters. So the black hole compared to an atom is... 10 to the minus 30th, I mean, here we're what? What's a Planck length? 10 to the minus 35th, so we're getting really, really tiny, about as small as you can get, only five orders of magnitude above that. That's crazy. Small as an atom compared to the sun. Unimaginably small. <laughs> yeah. And a small black hole would also have an unimaginably short lifetime to decay by Hawking radiation. It would radiate away what little mass it has yep. in 10 to the power of minus 23 seconds. Its 5 grams of mass will be converted to 450 Come terajoules on, on. of energy, which will lead to an explosion <laughs> roughly three times bigger than the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Com I'm pretty sure that uh, that's not how Goku's attack works in Dragon Ball, but they, they bend so much physics in that show there is anyway. But yeah, it will. Something that small creating an explosion bigger than Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Granted, those are relatively small as far as nuclear weapons go, but that's, that's a lot of energy from something that tiny. In this case, you die. Massive you also lose the coin. If the black <laughs> hole had the, the diameter coin. of a common coin, then it would be considerably more massive. In fact, a black hole with the diameter of a nickel would be slightly more massive than the yeah. Earth. It that would, would kill have you a surface different gravity a billion, billion times greater than our planet currently does. Its tidal forces on you would be so strong <laughs> that they'd rip your individual cells apart. The black <laughs> hole would consume so you before you even realized morbid. what's happening. Although the laws of gravity are still the same, the phenomenon of gravity that you'd experience would be very different around such dense objects. The range of the gravitational attraction extends over the entire observable universe, with gravity getting weaker the farther away you are from something. On Earth right now, your head and your toes are approximately the same distance from the center of our planet. But if you stood on a nickel-sized black hole, your feet would be hundreds of times closer to so the center, it apart. and the gravitational force would be tens of thousands of times as large as the force on your head and rip you into a billion pieces. But the black hole wouldn't stop with just you. The black hole is now a dominant gravitational piece of the Earth-Moon black hole of death system. You might think that the black hole would sink towards the center of the planet and consume it from the inside out. In fact, the Earth also moves up onto the black hole and begins to bob around as if it were orbiting the black hole, all while having swathes of mass eaten with each pass. That makes more sense, because the other one, the, the black hole would have to be less massive than the Earth in order for it to fall, and it wouldn't go all the way to the center like that anyway. But it's just it's a, much more... Cr well, if I pause it, it kind of looks like the Death Star. That's silly. As the Earth is eaten up from the eyeball. inside, it collapses into a scattered disk of hot rock wow. surrounding the black hole in a tight orbit. The black hole slowly I doubles its mass by the time it's done feeding. I guess it could be stable and it wouldn't the whole thing. The Moon's orbit is now Not highly sure, elliptical. Though. The effects on the solar system are awesome. In the biblical sense of awesome, <laughs> awesome. which means terrifying. Tidal forces from the black hole would probably disrupt the near-Earth asteroids, maybe even parts of the asteroid belt, sending rocks careening through the solar system. Bombardment and impacts may become commonplace for the next few million years. Now, it's not that... how much more massive would it be than the Earth? Because I could understand, like, other planets, like, for instance, Jupiter is one of the reasons why we're not hit by as many asteroids, because they go through the, the bigger target, Jupiter, um, as... The biggest thing that's orbiting the sun but this thing while it would make it bigger would it have as much of an impact on asteroids as jupiter because it's not i don't know if it would be as big i'd have to do a bit of math involving schwarzschild radius uh to see how big this uh this thing would be relative to the other planets but that would that would help dictate what ultimately happens on the solar system when it comes to the effects of asteroids and 
comets and other things floating around through space that can crash into things. The planets are slightly perturbed, but stay approximately in the same orbit. Yeah. The black hole we used to call Earth will now continue on orbiting the sun in the Earth's Earth place. <laughs> in this case, you also die. Yeah. But less people this will die. Video was less people will die overall in that scenario, because the other one, it would just be whatever happens to be close to you within the blast radius of an, um, an atomic bomb, compared to destroying the... wiping out everyone on Earth. So, I guess option one results in the le the smallest overall loss of life, so that would be slightly preferable if you had to pick one or the other. Kind of like the contrived scenario I made with uh, nuclear cookies. Um, I'll link that one in the description below, but it's about um, if you had an alpha or beta and a gamma cookie, which one of those would you have to eat if you got to pick? This was a pretty silly one of, uh, certainly one of the sillier ones of uh, Kurtzkazat videos that I've seen in a while, but it's, it's a nice uh, short little uh, thought experiment. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.